This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good afternoon. Here's your Cruise News for Saturday, August 20th. Bermuda announced on Friday that as of August 22nd, it's dropping its vaccination mandate for visitors. Previously, travelers 12 and older had to be vaccinated or have a medical exemption to enter the territory to travel to Bermuda, unvaccinated or not. Cruise passengers will be required to submit their travel authorization application and a valid pre-arrival test and proof of overseas travel health insurance. Carnival, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian have been calling to the island on a regular basis over the summer. If you are cruising there, check with your cruise lines as everyone has a different policy, it seems. And a complete federal overreach that poses multiple safety hazards. That's what some are saying about a new whale law that's seasonally limiting the speed of vessels to 10 knots for anything over 35 feet long. But one of Florida's ports in the new zone is Port Canaveral, and they are pushing back in the name of maritime safety. Port CEO Captain John Murray said, quote, when ships come up the channel, they sometimes have to exceed 10 knots in order to maintain safe steerage, making the turn into the harbor. The new zone extends from central Florida going north all the way up the east coast of the U.S., limiting speeds of vessels at certain times of the year. NOAA is reporting that since 2017, 51 whale strikes have occurred by vessels and fishing nets in the New England and Canada area. However, none of those have been in Florida. And Norwegian Joy made its inaugural call to Central Florida earlier this week. In keeping with maritime tradition, Port Canaveral presented a welcome plaque to the officers and crew of Norwegian Joy. Joy is based out of New York City and will be stopping in Port Canaveral several times over the upcoming season on its way to Bermuda, Bahamas, and the Caribbean. Norwegian Joy was built for the Chinese market. However, it was moved to the U.S. in 2019 over softening demand in the Asian market. And speaking of Norwegian Joy, our photo of the week this week comes from Daniel, who was docked over at the Royal Dockyard in Bermuda this morning. Thank you so much for sharing this and enjoy the rest of your cruise, my friend. To have your photo featured, email a high quality photo to Doug at cruiseradio.net. All photos are subject to broadcast. And cruise line stocks were down on Friday. Carnival Corporation down 5.6%, 9.86. Royal Caribbean down 5.2%, 39.64. And Norwegian down 4.6%, 13.18. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Here on the south bank of the St. John's River because it's too damn nice out to be doing it in the studio this morning. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great weekend. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.